Hello everyone, my name is Nitin Singh and today in this particular tutorial I am going to talk about uh, uh, three different, uh, you know, uh, the kind of uh, uh, the mistake, uh, especially uh, what the beginners are doing. Uh, I hope uh, these tips uh, would be really helpful for you and I really request you to look into it uh, very deeply and uh, try to understand uh, are you really doing this and if you are doing this then how to rectify this uh, uh, understanding the kind of uh, tips I am giving it to you. So uh, the very first thing uh, I, I, I see uh, especially in the beginners is that uh, uh, there are lack of uh, sketching uh, you know ability. Uh, most of the beginners uh, basically uh, you know they head into uh, doing watercolor directly working on the colors and uh, composition and all that uh, but uh, this is not recommendable uh, you need to spend uh, some bit of time uh, doing a lot of sketch uh, sketch is something like gives you know uh, you know the more ability to understand the depthness the, the light and how basically the watercolor is all about uh, working on the various aspect of the, the proper lighting, shades and all that. So the sketch gives you a, a, a lot of ability to do that. Uh, creative composition is the one uh, aspect. Uh, and overall, uh, uh, you know, uh, the drawing and the sketching. So let's assume that you are creating uh, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some subject uh, and if you are not able to create uh, a perfect uh, you know drawing uh, of that sub uh, of that object then uh, it will be very difficult uh, you know for you to uh, give a proper you know a justification for that subject so uh, I think it's a really uh, recommendable uh, I would uh, I would request you to do a lot of sketch um, at least uh, a couple of uh, sketch every day uh, uh, it's like gonna you know, take an example of uh, any uh, you know any inspiration wherever you are going. Uh, so just keep up a small pencil and a pad. Um, doing uh, just start doing the sketch. Um, so that will give you a, a lot of uh, confidence, uh, and you can see that improvement uh, after a certain time. The second mistake I see in the beginners are. They are actually taking a lot of stress while doing a watercolor painting. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they have they have kept a lot of uh, you know expectation uh, from that painting, uh, and because of that expectation to create a good art, that gives them a, a lot of uh, you know stress while doing the painting. So please try to understand that uh, the painting is all about having fun, enjoying the process uh, and uh, just you know, the, just give you freedom to express yourself. So uh, this, uh, uh, this ability, uh, you need to bring that ability. So don't take that stress, just enjoy the process, have fun. Even if you are doing any mistake, no problem, you just try to you know, um, adopt that and try to rectify that in you know, your next painting but please do not take any stress just enjoy this and the third mistake I see is uh, the people are not regular to their art you need to devote yourself a little time every day uh, and this is how you grow and learn this medium uh, people tend to have uh, you know uh, that sort of uh, uh, you know mindset that uh, if you will spend a uh, couple of hours uh, in a week or you know uh, working on practicing a couple of day uh, will give them a uh, you know complete uh, uh, complete freedom to understand and learn this art but uh, this is not recommendable uh, you need to you need to have uh, at least 15-20 uh, minutes every day and how you will find out uh, the time every day that's uh, all up to you be a little creative just see uh, how can you get 10-15 uh, minutes for your passion 
um, and at that time, uh, if you, you devote, uh, uh, you know, a little time every day uh, doing a uh, watercolor art, then I'm sure that uh, uh, things will change rapidly, and you can see that how your growth happens over the time. Uh, practice is a very critical here. Uh, I really recommend you do uh, do a lot of practice. Uh, let's say if you, uh, if you say like, oh, oh no, I have a time only on the weekend, then it's fine you do the painting on the weekend, but try to find 10 minutes. Uh, that 10 minutes do wonders. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. So 10 minutes do wonders. And if you don't believe that, <clears throat> just do, uh, you know, do do this uh, just practice this for the 15 days and you can see that improvement you can see that uh, <clears throat> the kind of uh, more, the kind the, the kind of uh, improvement happens uh, in your uh, in your painting so try to do that uh, and things will definitely change um, because i've seen many watercolor beginners they you know very disheartened when they see like they are not improving and they're paintings are not going anywhere their improvement is not going good so and that's led me to create this video so i hope you understood these mistakes and you try to work on that uh, thank you so much uh, uh, watching this video i would recommend you to if you not subscribe this channel please subscribe it uh, go through my uh, skills and classes uh, which will help you to learn this medium uh, more freely uh, I have uh, some great uh, uh, resources and the tutorials with the uh, with the proper explanation and the categorized please check that uh, my classes on Skillshare and I hope uh, uh, you'll have a really great time doing this so thank you so much everyone have a great day and, uh, and I hope uh, uh, your your watercolor journey will go really smoothly from now.